It was an extraordinary moment in the English Channel. HMS Richmond, a Royal Navy frigate, was tasked with monitoring two Chinese warships, the destroyer Jiao Zuo and the supply vessel Hong Hu. What followed was a calculated and highly strategic encounter with implications for international relations. Today we dive deep into that day and explore the broader significance of these events. So, why were Chinese military vessels present in the English Channel, a busy and strategically vital waterway for Europe and the United Kingdom? These Chinese warships were returning to China after joining Russia's Navy Day celebrations in St. Petersburg. While international maritime law permits passage through these waters, just the sight of Chinese warships so close to British shores was unusual and raised questions about China's expanding naval reach. The Royal Navy recognized the importance of maintaining oversight. Although the channel is technically international waters, it holds immense strategic value to the UK. Escorting foreign warships through the channel without incident was essential, and HMS Richmond was dispatched to shadow and observe the Chinese vessels, underscoring the Royal Navy's vigilance. This was not just a routine mission. It served as a reminder of China's increasing global operations, far from its own coastline. In recent years, China has greatly expanded its naval capabilities, adding advanced warships and extending its operational reach. The presence of Chinese warships in the channel reinforced China's ambition to be a global maritime power, able to project influence beyond its regional waters. For the Royal Navy, it was an opportunity to demonstrate readiness and reinforce its role in safeguarding European waters. The appearance of Chinese warships also raised questions about their route. Why choose to pass through the channel? As one of the world's busiest commercial waterways, it holds significant symbolic weight. By taking this route, China made a statement. The channel is seen as part of Britain's maritime domain, and foreign warships transiting it are always closely watched by the Royal Navy. The fact that China chose this path rather than going an alternative route suggested a calculated move to assert presence and signal its growing influence. HMS Richmond's mission was essential to shadow the Chinese ships and maintain a visible presence. Beneath the surface, however, this was more than routine. It was a show of vigilance and the UK's commitment to security in its strategic waters. The Chinese ships maintained course, indifferent to the British escort, yet for both sides, this encounter was a display of capability and restraint. For the UK, securing the channel is crucial. The Royal Navy ensures the safety of these waters, vital not only for defense, but also for global trade. The channel sees billions in goods passed through daily, making any foreign military presence a matter of close monitoring to maintain freedom of navigation and protect commercial traffic. This encounter also gave the UK a moment to show its unity with allies. As global tensions rise, especially in the Indo-Pacific where China's influence is growing, the UK's response to Chinese naval presence in European waters sends a message to allies and rivals alike. It demonstrates Britain's commitment to uphold international norms and respond to any perceived challenges in critical waterways. Now, these encounters are not without risks. Two heavily armed warships operating near each other are always at risk of miscommunication. The close proximity of HMS Richmond to the Chinese ships meant that any sudden action could spark a confrontation. The crew aboard HMS Richmond understood this fully. Every move needed precision, and each decision was carefully calculated. What if something had gone wrong, though? The 2001 Hainan Island incident, where a U.S. reconnaissance plane collided with a Chinese fighter jet, reminds us of how easily misunderstandings can escalate. In a similar situation, how would the Royal Navy have responded? The implications for international security would have been substantial, making this encounter a delicate balance of power and caution. Close encounters between military vessels are charged with a potential for escalation. Both sides operate under orders prioritizing national security. In a tense moment, even in a minor incident like a collision or a perceived aggressive move, 
could lead to a crisis. That this encounter ended without incident is a testament to the professionalism of both crews and underscores the inherent risks in such situations. Operating in close proximity requires clear communication and strict adherence to maritime protocols. Throughout the encounter, HMS Richmond and the Chinese warships maintained radio contact to avoid misunderstandings. Still, the atmosphere was tense. Both crews were aware that any miscommunication could lead to unintended escalation. HMS Richmond's crew stayed vigilant, prepared to respond to any changes, ensuring that their actions did not provoke any unnecessary response from the Chinese. The geopolitical context further heightened the risk of escalation. Relations between China and Western nations are strained, with issues like trade disputes and military posturing fueling mistrust. Even routine naval operations can take on added significance in this climate. The Channel encounter was not merely about the movement of ships, but reflected wider tensions between China and the West. Any incident could have wide-reaching consequences, potentially sparking a diplomatic crisis. This encounter between HMS Richmond and the Chinese vessels was more than a routine operation. It symbolized the shifting balance in global naval power. The presence of Chinese warships in European waters, even in transit, signaled China's expanding influence and its ambition to operate globally. It raises key questions. Are we witnessing the start of a new naval rivalry between China and the West? Is the Royal Navy prepared for increased foreign naval activity in its waters? China's naval expansion has been rapid. Over the past decade, China has built one of the largest navies in the world, extending its reach beyond Asia into the Indian Ocean, the Pacific, and now Europe. The appearance of Chinese warships in the Channel sent a clear message. China is now a global player, ready to project influence far from its shores. For the Royal Navy, this encounter was a reminder of the challenges in a multipolar world. The time when Western navies dominated the oceans unchallenged is shifting. New players like China are willing to test the waters. The Royal Navy must adapt to this reality, ensuring that it can protect British interests both at home and abroad. This encounter also highlighted the value of alliances. The Royal Navy's actions weren't only about protecting British waters, but they were also a signal to allies and adversaries alike. By responding swiftly to the presence of Chinese warships, the Royal Navy showed its commitment to European security and collective defense. The presence of Chinese warships in the Channel raises questions about the future of naval diplomacy. How will Western nations respond to China's willingness to operate globally? Will we see more such encounters in other strategic regions? These questions will shape the future of global naval power and influence. As the Chinese ships moved out of the Channel, though, escorted by HMS Richmond, it was clear that this would not be the last time foreign warships appeared in these waters. For the Royal Navy, it was a chance to showcase operational readiness and reinforce the importance of vigilance. But it also reminded both sides of the risks involved when rival navies operate close together. Looking forward, the question remains, should the UK prepare for more encounters like this? With China continuing to expand its navy, Similar situations are likely. Are we prepared for the challenges that come with a multipolar naval landscape? How should the Royal Navy adapt to maintain security in the region? The Royal Navy must have the resources, the technology, and the training to meet future challenges. Encounters like this remind us that the maritime domain is changing, and the Royal Navy must evolve with it. In conclusion, the encounter between HMS Richmond and the Chinese ships in the English Channel was significant, reflecting global shifts in naval power. 
As China expands its naval reach, the Royal Navy must be prepared to face similar challenges. The ability to respond swiftly, work with allies, and maintain a strong presence will be essential to ensure the security of the UK's waters. What do you think about the growing presence of foreign navies in European waters? Are we prepared for the challenges of this new era? Share your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more on the latest naval events. We'll see you in the next video.